and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Caitlyn Diana deck. This one was a little bit of a challenge. Kind of feels a little bit like our random champion decks that we're going to have for tomorrow, uh, putting them together. But we had a donation deck uh, idea to try to build around Caitlyn and Diana together. And that's what we're going to do here. So in order, like they're both good champions at attacking, right? They have quick attack and they're low cost. So like we want to be attacking quite a bit. So we're building a deck kind of built around wanting to attack a lot. We're going to have elusives because Sting Officer um, is with Caitlyn and, and Lunari Shadestalker kind of pairs with Diana. So we're going to have those two elusives and the flight as an elusive. So we'll have like some elusive attackers. Diana and Caitlyn will be quick attacks. And then we'll also have Crescent Guardian being a 5-3 overwhelm. Cloven Way being a 5-4 overwhelm that can stun a blocker as well. We're going to, you know, put those all together. So we'll have overwhelm, quick attack elusive our deck should be pretty good at attacking that's going to kind of be the plan a little worried about playing late games with the deck um, hopefully we don't get into too many late games um, but uh, otherwise we have we have a few uh, other cards to get some flash bomb traps in here we got a couple of karinas planting the five flash bomb traps of course the pilt over peacemakers and then even two copies of advanced intel i hadn't really put this in a deck before but I think this can work out here because it really helps both champions. It, it's also a really good Nightfall enabler. That's why this could really work out well here. So a couple of copies of these, like where we can play Advanced Intel on round two and then Shade Stalker on two and have it be elusive, for example. So got two of those to help enable Nightfall with all these other one cost cards. All right, so that's going to be our deck. Let's try it out. Let's see how Caitlyn and Diana pair together. We'll go play our five games. Yeah, we've been playing some interesting Diana decks recently. What was the other one that we had that we just... Um, we had Echo Diana. Yeah, that, one's, that one surprised. Diana looked really strong in that. We also had Nami, uh, Diana Nami. Okay, Ezreal Vi. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone. Ezreal Vi. This could kill Ezreal, I guess. Sting Officer does sound pretty vulnerable to a lot of one damage removal spells. Alright, planning on Sting Officer on two. And then the flight plus Shade Stalker on three. Problem is the, the deal one to two things card. I see. Even if they just play an Ezreal, that's kind of a problem. Okay, so not looking the best so far. We're kind of like an even board, but they got two extra cards, right? The concept, both their cards created another card. This is not looking great. Bandle City is a good region. What wondrous discoveries await below? Deep breath now. So I think I block here because the one power, the one health things are so vulnerable to removal. And if we're racing, I shouldn't really care about the damage. I don't know. Yeah. 
that. We were peaceful once. So this would be three three Diana. Leveled up Diana. So I want Diana to be the last card so that they can't use a Mystic Shot to kill Diana. They have to use a 3 damage spell to kill it. So they have all the cards. And hopefully we can finish the game out. We start at if we both start at 50 life, they would easily win. Dang, deal three. No more hiding. I will be heard. Easy does it. This looked like a good deck. It's Ezreal Vi. Just so much card advantage. And removal. Sky Charge. That's a cool looking skill. Three to anything? No, it has has to be an enemy. Can't do the Nexus. If it was Mystic Shot, we could do the Nexus. Man, just so much removal everywhere. And they're playing Shell Folk. Yeah, their deck's probably awesome. Well, I mean, it is awesome. Too much to do here. Yep. So they get they that turns into a draw two with the shell folk. You get two copies of whatever you choose. Y'all know me, I think shell folk is really, really strong. How we could steal it. The last car they just saw. This is all my Nexus damage, is just these two cards.
we don't have any other Nexus damage. Because we're not playing Puff Caps. Unless... Good. That's what, That was one reason why I wanted to get Aftershock out of my deck, because I didn't want them to make an Aftershock. They're passing to me. Let's just take the pass. Okay, never mind. They're not passing to me. Okay, so our best w way of winning this is drawing exactly Heavens Aligned, which there's two more out of 26, and then have Heavens Aligned create Doom Beast. Heavens Aligned, Doom Beast. No. Kills us. GG's. That deck's awesome. That deck's really strong. What our opponent has played. So I think that's a good showing for playing against such a good deck that we, you know, came close to winning. That's a pretty good, pretty good sign. Poppy Ziggs. Could see mulliganing the Crescent Guardian. I think the rest of it's a keep. No one's the wiser. Legion Saboteur. This will shake up. Hmm. I was planning on Sting Officer. But I could go Diana challenge. No, let's play this thing off. I never let my guard down. All right, come on, flash bomb. Do your thing, top card, top card. Yeah, we need top card. Yeah. Perfect. Good job, flash bomb trap. What does that thing do? It explodes, of course. Go ahead, like the fuse. I am wearing my goggles. Hello there. I don't know if like this this is a trade I should make. So we go down to twelve. These things may basically make a 10. Hope we can take that too. One for you and one for you. Yeah, Hayden with the don donation deck for a Senna Skies Descend deck. Okay, try to fast beat Skies Descend with Senna. Okay, okay. Me, miss? Not by a long shot. What is that? Thing do? It explodes, of course. Go ahead, like the fuse. Hmm. Squid zigs down to one health. Am I built over Peacemaker Kill if? Wow, okay. Double Peacemaker. Can I... Yeah, it's not going to enable the Nightfall. Over there. Really not 
much life. I can't wait to see what this one does! The All right, we're going to activate. Activate kills the Ziggs and levels up Caitlyn. So let's try that out. Let's see. Don't have the pokey stick. Oh, Noxion Fervor. Alright, so we got four of them activated. The flash bombs stay there. So we know there's four in the top five. That's important for, you know, Caitlyn strikes, does five damage to their Nexus. So if they have absolutely nothing they can play right here, we win the game, right? Like, this is lethal. But of course, that wasn't going to be the case. What? They just didn't block? Coach. They forgot about Caitlyn's ability. I think they're thinking they wanted their unit alive because their unit had the impact one. And with me being at two life, like they wanted to keep that impact one. And they probably had like another thing with impact in hand. Alright, one on one. Yeah, they probably should have fervored the Caitlyn. Probably what they should have done with the fervor. All right, Darkness Control. Don't love playing against it. Another control deck. Um, we lost our other control deck with lots and lots of removal. They outgrinded us. Don't love our chances. So I'm just going to wait on this Heaven's Align for next round because, you know, we have to trade with this thing anyway. We don't need to enable the Elusive. That's a hefty attack. Boom. Wow, that's a big... <laughs> I guess if you attack for a lot, Monkey gets larger. All right. Mr. Destroyer of Worlds. Oh, that's... I was just going to play the other Crescent Guardian, but... Oh, that thing does three. So it just kills a Crescent Guardian, so I... Yeah, I guess that's just how it is, isn't it? Could have pill Cascade to save. But then it, it has one health. And they probably can get rid of one health thing. Okay, so down to ten. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Steel. And Darkness doing five. I don't get to make.
I think they got this. Persistence is key. So these removal heavy decks are giving us fits. But that's not anything new. Like that's what this darkness deck is really good. And if they can increase the the damage of the darkness. I don't really know why they went that route. Like, why not many more with the 5-4 instead of the 5-3 and then block the 5-3? I think they could just have this could just be a 5-1. Anyway. Oh dear. Oh, they found me. This is what darkness does. This is what darkness does. Basically, what, this is what Vandal City does. They just have too much card advantage. Maybe we get lucky with a couple of flash bombs finishing off Senna. You know, or not. Deep breath now. Keep your distance. Must we fight? Make like it. We need to make like a clips dragon. Well, I appreciate Stalker is not bad. As far as cards go, that one's not bad. That one's not bad. They're all fear. They're fearsome. Two twos. Get him, Evershade Stalker. Let's go. Attack of the Fearsome Two Twos. Cloven Way is not so great against, you know, two mana deal. 
deal seven. Play the flight over the two one. So they go block, block, shoot one. Yeah, the flight's not gonna be late though anyway. Officer, eyes forward. Keep your distance. Too much card advantage. Yeah, we don't have any like super powerful effect against decks that are just tons of removal. I, smell a rat. I think that's just going to be our, our tough matchup for these decks with tons of removal. With everything being fast speed, thanks to Senna, they don't have to worry about, um, you know, playing anything too soon. All right. All right, one and two. So, like, that's the thing is, like, we could play a lot more card advantage type stuff. We could play, you know, like, Loping Telescope, for example, and... You know, there's lots of invoke cards in Targon. We can play a lot, but that's just going to make the the rest of our deck worse. So it's it's a tough balance to strike. It's just these Vandal City cards are ridiculous. So if we want to turn our deck into basically like a Vandal City type deck, like where we play Loping Telescope and a bunch of invoke cards and just try to play all two for ones, we can. But because like, this kind of matchup we're going to try to race, but against those other Bandal City decks with all their two-for-ones, that makes life really difficult, for sure. Maybe I should not have sent back Piltover Peacemaker. Tough places bring tough people. Alright, well we get it back. Do I want Diana or Crescent Guardian? Sharp Sight kills either one, but they can only kill one with Sharp Sight. So yeah, now that since I play Diana, it forces them to Sharp Sight there, which means that we get the, the two flash bombs. Dragon, this is like the card that I need Heaven's Line to make with those other decks. You know, against those removal heavy decks. Be a 
Yeah, what a hand. Double Fleet Feather Tracker, Sharp Sight, Lulu Poppy. What a hand. Man, that hand is crazy good. And why not just a rally on top of it? Block here, then they just attack again. Oh, come on, kill the Lulu! Oh, man. Have yet another rally. Break their spirits and their souls. Unreal hand. That's the dream. Fleet Feather Trackers, Sharp Sight, both champions, rallies. Boom. Built over Peacemaker doing two damage and not three damage has really been hurting us. Stomp. I wish that card was a four mana deal three instead of a three mana deal two. All right, finally we got Zareth the Zillion. Let's get rid of the Crescent Guardian. I'm gonna keep the Elusives. Hopefully no Time Bomb, no Pokey Stick. Pokey Stick's been really hurting us. No Zareth that's killing stuff for free. Got him some flash bombs. Now where did I leave that beaker? Okay. I want to see if we would make like unspeakable horror. So decide to go this route, give him more flash bombs and everything. Can't even play Heavens Aligned right now. Nasher. These games have just been a series of nightmares. 
Every single opponent's deck looks great, though. Because there's, there's that. All of their decks look really good. Six. I'm not sure whether it's better to plant or activate. I'll have nine in there somewhere. I think I'm doing activate. Obviously trying to kill Zareth. <laughs> Two? Oh, uh, well. Maybe we get him right here. We got a peacemaker. See, that's, that predict is really, really good against my Flash Bombs, right? Because it shuffles, like, it shuffles your entire deck, so it shuffles all the Flash Bombs away, so they're not now, like, on, like how they were, like, in, like, the top five cards. But that works really well, because now they're not in the top five cards anymore. Alright, so we have, ooh, the Cloven Way. Okay. One, two Dusk. I think it's probably worth playing the Cloven Way. So it's... They could have, like, the Stun Landmark. Could have... Arsenal with Spell Shield. So I can make... I can say two things can't block, and then just attack for seven right now. We could just do that, or we can play this first, and then two things can't block. So do we want the other 5-4 out first? I guess we... I guess we're supposed to put the other 5-4 out first. It's just there's a lot of ways this could go wrong, of course. Arsenal with Spell Shield. No Spell Shield, no Spell Shield. No, come on. Wait, but no Lifesteal though. So if we could still go... Target, target... They still only have one thing they can block, so it's still lethal. No more hiding. Watch it, Bozo. No, that quicksand. Dang. So they would add quicksand if I would have opened with with that as well. Man, they needed that arsenal to have spell shield. If it didn't, that game was over. But it had to have spell shield. Aftershock? Aftershock, let's go! We got some luck! We got some luck! Aftershock! Wow! Wow! 
leveled up Caitlyn. Top decking for the win. Not used to us being the ones that get some luck. So there we go. There was Diana, Caitlyn. Again, kind of like the, the previous deck. Just a, a difficult one to build where there's a lot of cards that we can play and figuring out exactly what those cards should be is kind of difficult. We went with the aggressive side here. We could definitely make this a control deck instead of an aggressive deck because Caitlyn doesn't mind playing long games either and neither does Diana. And so if we want, we could we could do that and basically move away from... Uh, this is going to be just a really crude example, but basically, you know, like move away from Shade Stalker, The Flight, Crescent Guardian, Cloven Way. You know, you don't really need to play those. And instead you can play, and then obviously Moonlight Affliction, you wouldn't need that either. Instead we could play, and this maybe would have been more successful. You know, there's, there's just two routes. Um, but as we saw with that route not being as successful, you can play it control style. And, you know, play like your loping telescopes, play more removal... Um, you know, whether it's like Mystic Shot or more Aftershocks, like, you know, like that kind of stuff. Um, you know, like all that kind of things. And you can play card draw, right? You can have like your time tricks um, or or uh, your invokes and, you know, kind of play your... Or, well, where's the Nightfall invoke? Sorry, take you back out. It's Lord Priestess. You know, so you can go like a Nightfall, slower Nightfall control deck, Nightfall... Uh, you can also play Hexcore Foundry if you want to focus more on these like Flash Bomb Traps with Foundry. You can do that. Uh, you can play, you know, cards like Aloof Travelers uh, for, you know, for like a slower control deck. You got your different lifesteal things you can play. You got your removal card draw, right? So you can play, you can go big uh, with that kind of stuff, you know, and, and uh, you know, Nightfall Invoke with like Eclipse Dragon. You can go play, play a slower deck, get your Sunburst in there. Eclipse Dragon. Um, also in the four mana slot, there's Justice Rider. If you want to go like Justice Rider plus um, the, the three mana landmark plus Hexcore Foundry, that's an option. There are, again, this is the same kind of deck where there are just tons of cards that you can play. And so figuring out exactly which ones you want to do. Um, you know, so we went, we went aggro with Elusives and Overwhelm. But maybe just going um, two for one special, just playing like all these cards that are two for ones and just trying to play a long game and give them a lot of um, flash bomb traps over a long game and invoke uh, and that kind of stuff. That could be another option as well. So, uh, you know, just another way to kind of think about it for Caitlyn Diana. But we had uh, we had our aggressive deck here, which I think could be OK, but we, we saw that we did struggle against um very removal heavy decks like darkness they can just keep on making those darkness round after round especially how they had um the catalyzer on two to increase the damage and then vagar on four that just increased the damage for a lot of rounds um so that's a struggle and vandal city um with creating a whole lot of spells and just two for wanting us to death was a struggle conchologist in particular but some things to think about all right, anyway, that's going to be it for Caitlin Diana. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And as always, leave those comments and let, let us know if you got ideas for the Caitlyn Diana, if you if you like the slower version and, and like which cards you would uh, really like to play in that kind of deck. Love to hear the com love to see those comments. Love to see the discussion there on YouTube. So hopefully y'all leave those over there. Uh, but that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.